uh, we will continue with Ezgi Karakaş Şular. She is from Molecular Biology, Genetics and Bioengineering program. Uh, she will present us functional cancer screens using biochip systems. If you Have you ever thought that you will not have cancer? Well, it's not just women are having cancer, men can also have cancer. And it's as common as one out of eight women can, have, can be diagnosed as breast cancer, and uh, one out of 37 breast cancer patients are dying. It's not, it's a, it is such a common cancer, or cancer type of, um, among women, but why we don't still have the cure for this? Indeed, there are several treatments, but the problem is breast cancer is quite heterogeneous. It has 21 histo histo histological subtypes and five different um, molecular subtypes. And it's just but not because of that. Until now, people were just focusing on single cell. What is the genetic abnormality? Why it is dividing so much? Or what was the alterations in signaling pathway in this cancer? But now we know that we cannot think cancer without its environment. So let's assume cancer is a seed. Seed without soil doesn't grow, right? So we need, as soon as it meets with the appropriate soil, it starts to make the root, make the leaves, and start to grow. It's exactly the same for cancer. It needs the environment to grow better. And as since we accept that environment is important for cancer, when we take a cross-section from a human breast cancer, we can see that there are enormous type of cell types. And those cell types are constantly interacting with each other. And cancer cells are asking from them to provide more food, oxygen, and growth hormones. My PhD thesis is to mimic this environment outside of the body we wanted to create tumor stromal communication outside of the body to understand how cancer are progressing more. And how, so in other words, how they are communicating with the environment, but this communication is quite important. I need to emphasize that they are making environment like a slave, working for them. And while cancer cells are talking with fibroblast cells, since they ask for the food, it creates a stress. It makes like green dots in the cell. We call it autophagy. And stress cells are provide nutrients for the cancer cell. We created a biochip system. We designed this with South Korea. We capture single cancer cells and let them to talk with fibroblast cells. And when they secrete a factor called TGF-beta, it can induce autophagy with the environment, which supports their growth. As soon as we genetically manipulate the cancer cells, which cannot secrete this, fibroblast cells cannot help the cancer cell. This method can help to make more, to screen more cancer patients and save more life. Thank you.